Hey Virgo, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, please smash that like button and do subscribe. If you're a returning subscriber, welcome, welcome, welcome. I am here every Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern time. Readings generally begin at 10.25 Eastern. They go live at 10.30, so you can pop in the chat five minutes prior to the reading beginning. You should chat with everyone if you want to get a personal reading with me. There's a link in the description box below where you can book a reading. You can also join my OnlyFans. Go ahead and click that link and that will take you to my socials and everywhere else you need to go. You can also become a member of my channel. So thank you for being here. Now let's get on to your reading. The show must go on. Thank you for all your well wishes everyone lots of good rest self-care and broth <laughs> always a good thing so yes let's keep it going keep it going all right let's see what your messages are going forward for you guys at the house of virgo what are the messages okay wow holy moly okay starting off with the runner Okay, runner in a codependent relationship, fear of intimacy, listening to ego. I'm not going to take all of those cards that fell. That's just too much. And kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. Okay, so you got someone who, you got a little, what am I hearing here? What am I hearing? little... Someone who doesn't kiss and tell. Wait. Is that the saying? Or someone who kisses but doesn't tell. Um, they run away. Okay. 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 What does this mean? What the heck? What is going on here? Okay. You've got, you've got someone who like totally loves you for sure. Or it's just like um, definitely has... Uh, falling in love maybe you're, it could be someone who's falling in love with someone who runs marathons or is like a just loves to run like it's just like exercise as a runner um hmm. someone who has like a lot of affection falls in love and then runs away runs away from love okay as far it feels like this is as far as somebody can go they can this is as far as it can go <laughs> or gives kisses and then it's like gotta run babe gotta run this is as far as i can go that that's the energy can't get into that deep love sorry busy gotta go okay that's that's what it feels like um getting too close you're getting too close i need my space i need my space i can't get too yeah we can't get too close a little loving little touching little squeezing anything deeper than that i gotta bolt i gotta run okay all right okay gotcha all right that's all right i see i see how it is all right let's see what else is going on here mm. Mm. who is this person is this you so listen let me give you a little caveat if this doesn't resonate and you're like i don't know who this is this doesn't make any sense i don't know who this is i don't have somebody like this i've not i don't know hey guess what maybe it's you I just leaned into the microphone and kind of whispered like President Biden. Guess what? It might be you. <laughs> yes. If this isn't resonating that it's somebody else, is it you, Virgo? Do you get a little close and you get kissy kissy and then you're like, yeah, I love you. Oh, but wait, I need my space. I need my space. You're getting too close. Stop, stop, stop. I can't get too deep. Could be one of you just saying are you running away okay all right so tell me the story yeah okay so that's the Virgo card Virgo um I feel like spirit wants to call you out <laughs> oh my gosh I feel like or it's another Virgo okay so you're kind of like you like being on your own it looks like you like being single single and independent enjoying your life this feels like you're totally okay with this um you're like you know what i can i gotta balance my checkbook tonight like you're all about the benjamins it's like i gotta see what's on tv flipping through the channels looking to see you know what's on netflix tonight what's on my my hulu i gotta check my peacock um 
trying to shuffle your funds. Virgo kind of feels like for at least the rest of October going into November, it looks like you're all about your business. Don't be all about your shut business. If anybody gets that reference, please don't be that way. But it looks like you're all about your business, okay? Yeah, a couple of kisses. Yeah, I'll, uh, yeah, I'll, you know, a little affection here and there. But it doesn't look like you have time for <laughs> anything else, really. Or that you're just maybe not really interested. Um, it looks like you're trying to balance your work career like your career life kind of stuff um wow yeah you have the six of uh, wands here uh virgo just is like what is love baby don't hurt me don't hurt me no more okay now i don't know where that came from but i feel like What's love got to do, got to do with it? What's love but a secondhand emotion? Virgo, you got like, you got a little Kelly Clarkson Miss Independent thing going on here. Or Mr. Independent. You're just all about yourself here, it looks like. Um, I don't know if you're codependent or not. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe you have a fear of intimacy, or maybe you just don't give an F, maybe. Your ego might be kind of taken over, and you might be swinging the pendulum in the complete opposite direction. Um, you might be doing a little kiss and don't tell kind of energy. You might be kissing a lot of frogs. Um, or you might be dating a lot, and you're just really um, not trying to... You might just haven't found anybody that you like. Um, and you're really just not, that it's not a priority for you, it seems like. It, it seems to me like what's a priority for you is to be your best and to attract and not chase and be on top of the world. You know, to be like the star of your own show. I feel like there's a little bit of ego going on here. And, you know, there's healthy ego. That's okay. You can, like, you should embrace the healthy ego of yourself here. Yeah, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune. So you're all about change. And you're definitely all about jackpot and getting claiming your rewards. You might even be all about claiming this reading right now. I really feel that way. Um, Virgo's like, I'm on a... I'm on a path to success here, and I see you doing that. Like, the winds of change are here. This is a turning point for you, and you're all about the turning point. Um, I feel like you kind of are on the ship, and you've got your hands at the wheel, and you're charting course to your destiny. You know what I mean? You're writing the book. You're filling in the pages of how you want your life to be. And you're the author you know, of how you are, uh, how you're choosing to live. And you're single as a Pringle here. So maybe you're breaking some hearts. You're, you're kissing a few, a few frogs or you're, you're kissing a few, not some frogs. And then you're running away because you're just like, okay, later, later alligator. After a while, crocodile, <laughs> catch you later. You just, you're not staying put. Um, so you're kind of giving off player vibes. But um, I mean, people who I feel like this is my personal opinion. I feel like people who accuse other people of being a player are really just insecure about themselves. You know what I mean? And I know that's probably not going to sit well with you. But that's just my personal opinion. You don't have to agree with me. But I do feel like when you have your self-confidence about yourself and you feel good about yourself, um, you don't really people can't play you and you don't really give a shit you know you're just kind of like all right well another one bites the dust later if you're not staying if you're coming in for a kiss and then you're leaving um like people can't play you unless you let them you know so um yeah so i just kind of feel like 
uh, the wheels turning in your favor and I feel like it's because you're you're allowing it do you know what I mean so in some way you are you do have the power for, to because when you allow something to happen you're still kind of in control of that right because you have the power to not allow it to happen right because you can kind of stop it but when the wheel is going to turn the wheel is going to turn no matter what and it's turning with ease because you're letting it happen yeah so i feel like big changes good luck if you're out there gambling or spinning the uh the roulette wheel i feel like things are going to work out in your favor everything's going forward you might be um like i mean this is a this is the six of wands is a card of a winner being a winner i feel like picking up like a lot of lotto wins or gambling or making money um in your readings lately <laughs> so <sighs> some of you are given the kiss of death i just heard the kiss of death like you're blowing kisses like i'm just feeling like a, a blowing uh, i don't know they just keep giving me like this blowing a kiss you're running away from someone who does this blowing a kiss thing as well. I just heard. Like, nope. Don't want that. Nope, not interested in that. I don't know what that means. Okay. Let me see what else is going on here. Ooh. <clears throat> now you have the king of wands. Ooh. There's a fire sign on the other uh, on the other end of this wheel turning. There is. Wow. Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Ooh, the Emperor in the reverse. Ooh, ooh, boy. Be careful, be careful, Virgo. It's a nasty narc right here. Fire sign. This is a nasty, nasty, persuasive controlling person on the other side of this just waiting for you to mess up i don't know who that that person is i don't know who that person is yes look knight of wands they're scattered they're you know you gotta be you gotta like watch yourself here i feel like because once you get your stuff once you get your ish together uh, they come out in droves waiting for you to mess up they really do once you get yourself like to the point where okay you know what i'm gonna take care of business myself i swear people come out of the woodwork and they're just waiting like wolves like predators waiting for you to to trip up they do so i don't know who this is this is someone who's really chaotic like i said it's it, it could be a father figure it could be a someone you have have or had a romantic relationship with um, someone that you kissed and you were like no thanks um, could be somebody you worked with you gave a little time whoever it is it's someone that you gave a little time to and then you were just like not interested you were just like nah not gonna try to connect with you just nah and it might you know like you might have maybe you caught feelings maybe you fell in love with someone and then just decided you didn't want to be or something happened and you ran away from that connection you know maybe you weren't playing you know in a sense they might have thought you were but whatever the situation is you know you just kind of came to this well i'm just gonna be on my own I'm just gonna be single take care of business you make changes you're in a higher level raise the vibration kind of thing and you got somebody on the other side of this is coming in with this offer but they're kind of like hmm they've been taking a long time but they're kind of i don't know they got a trick up their sleeve rabbit maybe they're born in the year of the rabbit trick up their sleeve rabbit yeah yeah yep they're hoping you're gonna steer that wheel into their driveway yep 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 all right let me see what else is going on here the story must be told ace of wands queen of cups oh okay all right they just said 
you have a female in your life, I got to tell you, who um, Virgo, you got some people. You got you got some people surrounding you. You do. I feel like you have some suitors. That's what I'm going to tell you. You've got you've got a, a male or a female who's waiting for you to trip up, but they have bad intentions here. You have somebody else here, male or female. This is a water sign who has like a they they got a heart on for you, so to speak. You know, they have like a very they got a thing for you for sure. I don't feel like the water sign comes with bad intentions. I'd be wary of the fire sign. But I don't feel like the water sign comes with bad intentions. I feel like they're pretty steady. And they're pretty honest. I do feel like they, you know, but they do have like... They want to plant a seed with you, for sure. Have some growth, you know what I mean? They want to like... They want to plant some magic seeds... Um, build a beanstalk climb into some kind of magic castle in the air with you <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> what's that story Jack and the beanstalk there's somebody named Jack yeah that's what I see with this water sign a little bit of a fairy tale kind of thing which was kind of apropos for water signs because they're kind of fairyish they kind of like those magical stories you know um yeah the the this fire sign over here is a little bossy a little bit bossy control a little bit but um definitely wants like like the fire sign i feel like i don't know i don't even feel like you care i kind of feel like you're just like i just want to be on my own everybody leave me alone i'm trying to get my bag virgo's just like I, i'm just trying to flip through the channels and see what's What's on Netflix this season? I want to watch my shows. I want, I'm trying to make my money. I'm trying to hit the lottery. I'm, I'm at the casinos. I'm not paying attention. I don't know, Virgo, because I feel like you're just like, just give me a kiss. I got to go. <laughs> you know, you're just kind of like, Harry, come on, hurry up already. I got things to do. It, it just doesn't give me this vibe like you're even really... I don't know, in this reading, I don't know who, what Virgo I'm talking to, but in this reading, I just don't get a vibe like you even want to be attached. It's more like, yeah, I'll date you, but like, you got to go home, you know, like, I got to get a shower, I got to, I want to be in my bed by myself, like, you can hang, but you need to go home. <laughs> That's kind of what I feel like you're thing is and I just I know I keep repeating myself but I just don't get and you got these other people are like but 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 but, but I want to build castles in the sky with you and you know I want to grab you by the back of your hair and drag you into the cave with me and Virgo's like I'm sorry but like I'm having too much of a good time in my life right now you know uh, I'm gonna be at happy hour so I mean I'll see you later <laughs> Virgo uh, you can call me later. I'm sure you'll call me like a hundred times. You know, it's whatever. I'm traveling. I'm busy. I'm, I'm just living my best life now. You know, and everybody's like, but you don't make time for me. Virgo, you're just being a little bit of a player right now. Like, I'm just going to tell you. That's in this reading. And if you don't like it and you get offended, click off. It doesn't necessarily mean it's you. I may not be speaking directly to you. But somebody here is just... I don't... You're not intentionally trying to hurt people. I just feel like you are... I don't know what you're doing. You're just... You're just not doing anybody but you. That's what I feel like you're doing. Yeah. That's it. That That's just it. It's not bad. It's not good. It's not anything. It's neutral. Do you want me to ask why? Do you want me to find out why? Why is Virgo acting like this? What What is going on with Virgo? Okay. Why is Virgo just being neutral and not giving an F? What's going on? This particular Virgo. Why is this particular Virgo just not... Oh, 
just fell out of the deck onto the floor. Well, that's pretty obvious. Do I need to say more for those Virgos who are born on the 23rd of August specifically? But, because there's a two and a three there. Um, Virgo, Virgo had a person. Virgo had someone. And it was a beautiful match. I don't know how long ago it was. Could have been with a Pisces. Um, it could have been with a Leo. It could have been with an air sign. Whomever it was. And it was... It was Virgos. They mirrored each other. And there was a beautiful match. Could have been three years ago, two years ago, 23 years ago. However long, if it was heartbreaking, some type of separation. It could have been months ago. I don't know. Whatever it was, it was a pivotal point of destruction, devastation, piercing, heartbreak. And Virgo never fully, fully recovered from that. Not fully, because it left a scar. Even when those swords came out, see those how heavy those handles are eventually? The weight of the handles just pulled them out. There's just scars left. Yeah, so... Virgo never fully recovered from that. So there was a bit of tainted bitterness or jadedness because of this beautiful connection, right? So was there a full... Virgo never went back the same way again. Not fully. And probably had some other relationships after that time period. Um, some may have been good, some may have been not so good, but Virgo's at a period in their life right now where they really just want to decompress. Um, this particular Virgo, not all Virgos, just this one. And this Virgo just wants to decompress and kind of just live their life uh, stress-free and just maybe be happy and just maybe be on their own for a while maybe just date you know until they're ready right um, and not rush into anything you know I don't feel like Virgo is a hundred percent um never going to get into a relationship again i don't feel like that's the case so if anybody's cross watching who's in love with a virgo i don't think you have to worry about that but i think this virgo is seriously needing just to get some downtime for themselves just to figure out it's not even running away because of so much fear of intimacy it's just choosing to run away on purpose not wanting to hurt anyone and just not wanting to uh, get too deep. Be Virgo, Virgo has um, like, whenever you get involved with a Virgo, if anyone doesn't know this about Virgo, you automatically sign a privacy clause <laughs> that you will not pierce the veil of Virgo until Virgo is ready to allow you to look inside, right? A Virgo does not freely offer the depths of their soul to just anybody at all. And if Virgo does offer, you can trust that those are chosen select things that are already on the shelf for that they have already been okayed by Virgo for anyone to see <laughs> they're like they're they're just at the front of the shelf all the real choice select stuff is hidden in the vault and Virgo just puts a presentation out so everybody thinks oh look Virgo's letting us see what's inside no 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 
that's just what Virgo is allowing you to see, you know. So that's just how it is with a Virgo. That's just how it is with a Virgo. It's it's no other way. Anytime you meet a Virgo, if you think that you have gotten through, <laughs> you've only scratched the surface. Believe me, there's so much more depth to the majority of Virgos. And you might think that you've broken through because they've allowed you to get in. No, 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 no. A Virgo is like an onion layer. <laughs> A, a, a layer of onions they, the first layer the second i'm telling you they keep shit locked up in that vault that's why they're most of their time they're quiet most of the time they and they will cringe if anybody sees what's deep down inside they cringe and they won't most a lot of them won't come out for days if they're found out <laughs> certain things that they keep so deep inside yeah very few friends, very few confidants, like the, that know their inner, inner secrets. I'm giving a lesson on Virgo. I really am. <laughs> they have very, they keep very deep, dark secrets. Um, whew, anyway, but to the cross watchers who love a Virgo, Virgo just needs that downtime sometimes. Um, and then they come up refreshed. They'll come up refreshed and ready and willing to, you know, agree to um maybe see if there's if there's someone out there who is worth getting involved with um it's not that people aren't worthy it just has to be worthy of their time their effort and their energy because virgo really seriously has no problem being on their own like they the majority of virgos because they represent the hermit um and your placements, like if you're a, you're a Virgo that just absolutely has to be around people all the time, that's really going to have a lot to do with your placements. But the majority of Virgos, it, it, like if you're that Virgo that likes to be out and about, but you also love to be laying on your couch in your sweat socks and just watching your shows after you've been working your ass off and not talking to anybody, maybe just through text or whatever and um hanging out with your cat or whatever like the majority of virgos freaking love their alone time they just do no contact with the outside world doing their thing whatever it might whatever their thing might be or even if it's just going out into the world but being on their own they just love that I, listen i'm preaching to the choir i know because i absolutely i could stay alone for days and days and days I can, I can just, I can go up on the mountain hermit and I just like, people will call me all the time be like, are you alive? I just, I'm like, I'm totally alive. <laughs> and I always get shit from people who are like, how come you never call me? I'm just like, I figure you're okay. <laughs> so how come I don't hear from you? It's not personal. I'm just, I don't know. I'm reading the dictionary. Sorry. <laughs> Sometimes I'm just on Google Earth and I'm exploring and I lose track of time. I don't know. <laughs> I'm looking at maps. I don't know. <laughs> I'm stuck in a crime documentary. No offense. Sometimes I have to for I forget and I'm like, oh, yeah, I got to keep up with people. I got to see how people are doing. Yeah, people. I have to start peopling more. Okay. <laughs> I'm not very people oriented. Isn't it terrible? It's just me. I'd rather just go take care of business and do stuff. But yeah, as I know, it's not all Virgos are like that. But holla, put put a comment in the chat. Are you a people-oriented Virgo or are you a task-oriented Virgo? Which one are you? Task-oriented Virgos are the ones that just like they're so focused on the task at hand. And they just dole out the orders and they do the chores. And not that they're not kind to people. It doesn't mean that. But they, they'd much rather get the work done before they go out and do the partying or the social events where people-oriented Virgos would much rather go out and do the social activities than go and do like the chores. They'll do that second. They put that stuff, you know, you know, take care of the business and pay the bills. They put that stuff second. So which one are you? Okay, let's see what else is going on. Let us see. You know what? Hold on. I just want to see. Okay. 
I'll just get a couple more cards. So yeah, back to the reading. I went off on a tangent. So I just feel like Virgo's had a heartbreak. This Virgo here in the reading has had a heartbreak. Something ended, divorce, breakup, argument, relationship came to a halt. And Virgo just wants to be on their own now. Virgo doesn't even want the ex back. This Virgo doesn't want their ex back, doesn't want to repair anything, just wants to go kiss all the girls and boys and just be on their own and not get involved right now. Yep, just be out there, be happy in the sun, enjoying his or her life and have joyous opportunities, success and happiness, okay? So that's really what I feel like is going on for some, not all, okay? I know some of you are like, no, 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 no. I'm trying to get back with my ex and that's fine. You do what you need to do. No one's stopping you. Okay, let's see. Um, let's take a look and see. I feel like I kind of um, went off a little bit there on that whole situation there, but I really felt like the need to bring that up because I don't ever feel like people understand Virgos. As a matter of fact, on my YouTube, my YouTube will, in my analytics, it will show me what two signs people search the most for tarot readings. And I don't know if you guys have analytics. I guess you would have to have um, an actual channel. Um, like you would have to actually have it monetized. But the two signs that are searched the most for um, tarot card readings here on YouTube are Virgo and Scorpio. And I was kind of thinking about that. And I'm like, why is it that those two signs are sought after the most? Why do people look up Virgo and Scorpio the most? And I think it has to do with the similarities. It's the only two signs that have the same glyph. I'm going to show you. Because I know some of you know. I don't have to tell you. But some of you have no idea. All right, let's see if I can show you. This here is Virgo. It's the, it looks like the letter M. And this here is Scorpio. It's also the letter M. Okay, this little, see this little um, thingy, thingy, little thingy here? This is turned inward. This one is turned outward. Okay, the little tail. So the, the turning inward is a little more having to do with um, Virgo being more of an introverted sign and Scorpio being a bit more of an extroverted sign, but that's due to the Mars placement because Scorpio is ruled by Mars and Pluto, but Pluto is an introverted planet. So the thing is, they were both once similar. In the old Greek mythology, they were um, one sign. Um, but Libra came in and split them both apart. It's an old Greek story, mytholo mythological story, if you ever read about Hades and Persephone and, you know, how Libra jumped in the middle and split them both apart. Um, but they are very similar, where they are both very deep um, thinkers. They, they like the darkness. They're very similar in the signs. And, I, and they're also, also very much like behind the veil in a lot of ways deep mysterious dark and that and i was thinking i i think that's probably why um both are searched the most because people often don't understand those are the two signs that are the most often misunderstood and they often find each other as well virgos and scorpios often find each other but the relationship is often often tumultuous um because there's a lack of understanding the other as well takes at least one sign to really understand the other much more in order to find a way to get along. They're often in separation. Even if they understand each other, they're often in separation. So that's a little, I feel like I'm giving a lesson here. Okay, so we've got Year of the Goat, Year of the Monkey, and you have, this is going to be for you, you have Year of the rabbit year of the dragon year of the rat and i said rabbit in the beginning didn't i you have the monkey again 
year of the dog. You have the rat again. Did I say rat? I don't remember. Yes. Year of the goat again. Year of the ox. Year of the pig. Dog. Am I getting like repeating signs? I feel like I am. Rooster. One more. And the horse. Okay. Super, super cool, you guys. So, all right. Wow, we're only at 37. Let's get some. All right. We have Cancer here and Sagittarius. We also have Aquarius and Capricorn and Scorpio and Scorpio twice. Okay, let's take a look. All right, September 8th, 1979. Okay, age 52. September 19th, August 31st. Okay, September 3rd. Age 44. September 7th. Okay. So we have QQ. Two Qs. What does that mean? QQ. Isn't that like a text thing over in like a Chinese app or something? QQ. Anybody? Anyone? You guys, I was thinking of doing like um, a four-hour live stream. What do you guys think? Would anybody like to do be a part of a four-hour live stream? All right, so we have the initial K, initial F, initial A, initial D, initial X, and a U. Someone is from Uxburg. I just heard Uxburg. Someone's name is Daphne. Okay. Someone's from the UK. Just heard. Okay. <clears throat> cool beans. Super cool beans. All right, let's do a couple other shuffles and see what else we got. Okay. All right, so they're giving me, okay, zip code 34112. Someone is 54, okay. I also have phone number 5490. All right, September 20th, August 31st again. That's always gonna come up because, oh, 2031, because it's 31 on all sides. All right, somebody just got a tat tattoo or is getting a tattoo. Um, okay, somebody's getting a new job. Just so you know, congratulations. We have BJ. Or someone's getting a BJ. Okay. <laughs> congratulations. <laughs> Yay. About time. Uh, let's see. Mm, someone likes is going to P.F. Chang's. Okay. Um, someone's phone is an AT&T. Has AT&T cell service. AT&T. I just heard. Um, okay. JP. I'm getting for initials. Okay. You got a Q again. Barbecue. Going to a barbecue, I just heard. Somebody's going to a barbecue maybe this weekend. Coming up. Gonna have some uh, ribs. Barbecue ribs. Sounds so good. I gotta go eat my dinner. I'm starving. Okay. I'm gonna leave that there. Fantastic. Let's get your charms, you guys. And what the heck would this be? I gotta 
take a clearer look. Cannot see. Oh, oh, that's um. That's some kind of Sanskrit. Does that say? Uh, is that it's some kind of Sanskrit? Is it? Is it an Om sign? Do you guys know? I've seen that before, but I can't remember. Is it some kind of Sanskrit? It almost looks like pie. Or um, is it um? Okay, that's significant for someone. I don't know what exactly it would be. Let me have a look. I have to look because I think I know, but I'm not exactly sure. Let me see. Oh yeah, it is an um. It's the um. Let's see what they let's see what they tell you about this. The um. I thought it was some kind of Sanskrit or something. So it represents some type of meditation. It's a doorway to tranquility for yoga practitioners. The true meaning of um is deeply embedded in Hindu philosophy. Oh, so it's obviously it's like a vibration of the universe. So I knew that, which all other vibrations are able to manifest. So spiritually, this Om represents, yeah, it is Sanskrit. That is considered by many Eastern religions as the primal sound. It is believed that God created sound first, and therefore Om is the seed sound of all creation. Okay, that's cool. I love it. Is it a good luck symbol? It's the most auspicious and it is the most popular sign of good luck, the most commonly used charm as well. So it does represent good luck. So it's a good luck signal and sign for you as you were getting some good luck with the Wheel of Fortune and that your luck was going to start changing for you as you were making changes going forward in your life, especially during these next few, well, the, the next four weeks. So that's really awesome. That's a really good sign for you as times are changing and shifting for you. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, I was going to say something, but I'm not saying it. I'm just going to leave it alone. We're just going to leave things alone. So yeah, I'm going to leave that there for you. Tomorrow is Wednesday, so I'm going to be back with another reading. And then Thursday is your weekend reading. And I'm also going to upload your readings over on Moon Pai Tarot channel. So go check that out if you would like to get the collective message. So that's that's a two-in-one day kind of reading. Like I said, I think I might try to do a four-hour live stream. I've been thinking about it. I try to do it, and then I'm kind of like, what am I going to do for four hours? And I thought about doing... Um, pulling tarot, like doing tarot card readings and just kind of having the stream open for four hours, do the reading for um, the evening and then re-uploading it again later at 1030 so that you guys have it like at this time, right? Um, I'm thinking about it, so, but it'll just be a replay, you know, for anybody that isn't able to do the four hour stream. So um, yeah, I wish I could do like um, a news kind of thing but I don't know that there's any tarot news kind of channel um, or kind of maybe do a news talk about crime stuff. So, yeah, I just kind of want to get the streams going. You know what I mean? Because they're so exciting during the day. And I know a lot of you um, have a little time on your hands during the day. You want to kill some time. So we'll see how it goes. But, yeah, if you have any ideas or suggestions for doing a live stream during the day into the night, uh, definitely let me know. Leave me some comments. I do read the comments when I get a chance. And any suggestions you might have related to tarot or anything cool that you would like to participate in or become a member, definitely let me know. All right, you guys. I'll see you back here tomorrow. Have a fantastic night. And uh, yeah, take care. Bye.